What's up everybody? I uh, had a little issue. <clears throat> I uh, wasn't getting a big enough spark through my little thing because I wasn't at the right frequency for it to be driven correctly. So I went ahead and hooked up an external relay to this last output. Hooked it up to an old generator box. This is a, Law a Lawton circuit which I don't recommend using for HHO projects. It doesn't quite put out a very nice signal for you. My experience. Uh, but I am using it with a relay and I'm using this for the higher frequency um, I, I would rather build a rustic generator anyway uh, so I've got that hooked up this time and I found something very unique out um, whenever I use just hydrogen and oxygen alone um, it, it goes out less so it's a quicker bang with you know probably more force but less combustion power it's too quick I think in my opinion and when I use a little bit of extra ambient oxygen, it actually goes further. And like it burns it slower and pushes it out further. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set this up. I wanna show you guys. And uh, very interesting. I'm not quite sure what's happening here. So, you know, if you guys got some opinions, I'm up to hear them. So right now, Seven inches even, just under six and uh, fifteen sixteenths. All right, <clears throat> now I'm going to turn just the ambient oxygen on. Nothing more. This is just a pump. All right, just a pump. I'm going to go ahead and purge it a few times to get all the stuff out of there to make sure we got a good uh, ratio of mix. So I'm going to purge it twice here, and then we'll do it again. HHO with extra oxygen, compressed air. All right. Three inches. It went three more inches. Let's see, one, two, three. Almost four more inches with the extra oxygen, compressed air, I should say. Firing again. Everything's on timing, sir. I can't change anything. That time we were at four and a half. Let's go ahead and try it again. I'm not purging it in between. That might be affecting it as well. All right, four and a half. Now, let's go ahead and shut the oxygen, extra oxygen off. Go ahead and purge it a few times. Okay, purge it twice and fire it. HHO only, no extras. and a half inches. Try again. Six 
six and a quarter inches. One more time and then we'll switch it back. Again, if I would purge this longer between each run, it would be more accurate in my opinion. Six and a half inches. So let's go ahead and turn the oxygen back on. I want you guys to answer me out there in the audience. Uh, on not, not you guys on the live show right now, but you can. But the, uh, the audience in the comments of this video, I'd like you to post why you think that is. <clears throat> why are we getting further combustion with extra ambient air? Theoretically, we're using less HHO. All right? I purged it. We got extra oxygen, compressed air, fire. Nope, did not fire. Try it again. Fire. Two and a quarter inches. That piston is all the way to the end. I can reach it. Let's try it one more time. question to you folks out there in the YouTube land and wherever you're watching this at why is it that when I meter mix extra compressed ambient air into the system with the HHO that I get a, 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 a more combustion uh, HHO is a pretty good uh, combination of uh, hydrogen and oxygen in a very well um, state uh, that it can be combusted at so I don't know just something to think about so uh, again, this is why I'm doing burn rate testing because until we do it, we don't know. Um, I would have to say that this is a pretty good way of doing it. And I will be having a clear tube on here. I think that that di diameter will work well for me. Um, Bill's 5x5 split gas cell running the gas back together. Not using it separately. Here I've got the big boy supply, recycled parts. Uh, again, this is the rustic frequency generator. We'll be running the gas gun back there. I'll be doing that next. And uh, pulse fire. Arduino controlled. Runs off of a GUI, thanks to William Clanzar. I believe I said your name right. Um, and then this thing that I don't recommend building, but since I have it, I'm using it. All right, this is Russ, rwgresearch.com. Check it out if you like, and uh, leave a comment on this one. Very interesting, a very unique type of uh, situation here. So, yeah, cool guys and girls. Thanks for watching. Check out the forums as well, open-source-energy.org. Peace and love. See ya.